I may not be a copycat of my predecessor, Mr. Reynaldo Castro, but rest assured, I will be adopting his good practices, and I hope I can earn your respect too much as he did. Alone, I can achieve little, but along with the new set of officers, we can do more. Here go, let us close rocks. Let this occasion serve as a real point towards a year of realizing our dreams and aspirations. A year of working hand in hand with NSO. A year of better helping our constituents whom we were sworn to serve. I am privileged to have officers the like of the new, set, the new ones for their dedication and commitment to bring to fruition the goals of our association. With the full support and cooperation of these officers and the entire membership of Pantra, of course, and, and, and NSO as well, I see no reason why this humble stewardship would fail. I exhort you, therefore, to consolidate the best from the past and the present, build on what we have achieved from it, while keeping our eyes on the future and its opportunities. Bear in mind that the promise and the hope of the future lie in the task that we set on ourselves. So let us leave for the present. Sin idea, they say. Since the day, but beyond today is the challenge to live up to our commitments. Most certainly, there will be problems and trials, but remember, these are opportunities as well. Let us therefore redouble our efforts and do our best to play our role in making life better for ourselves and for our constituents. Let us focus our minds and our hearts to the challenges ahead of us. When I assumed the pre presidency of this association a uh, uh, couple of decades ago, the very first time, there was no constitution and bylaws. That became my very first agenda then. This will be the very same framework from which we will work, act, and conduct our activities. To NSO and to all PANCRA members, at times our opinions may vary. At times we find ourselves at the opposite ends of the pole on certain issues concerning civil registration, but even poles and centers where we can meet. Even in diversity there can be unity, all for the sake of our constituents. Let us remember that their welfare and their sake is the linchpin for the very existence of this association. To the outgoing officers, my congratulations for you did your job well, and from where you left off, we will start. But we still expect your unfailing commitment to our cause. To the members, allow me to emphasize your role and importance in the success of our association by way of an old adage, and I quote, For want of a name, the horseshoe was lost. For want of a horseshoe, the horse was lost. For the loss of the horse, the rider was lost. For the loss of the rider, the battle was lost. For the loss of the battle, the whole kingdom was lost. And so, the loss of the seemingly insignificant name led to the loss of the entire kingdom. Ladies and gentlemen, the point I'm trying to drive at is that in any association, for that matter, nobody is insignificant, nobody is unimportant. Each has a role to play and a task to perform, and one has to do it well for the accomplishments of its, goal, its goals and objectives. In closing, ladies and gentlemen, I call upon the past and present officers to show the way. I call upon NSO and every PANCRA member for cooperation and support. I call upon our families for inspiration. I call upon our constituents for understanding and patience. But above all, I call upon God Almighty for guidance and blessings. A pleasant morning again. Thank you. Mabuhay ang PANCRA at mabuhay po tayong lahat.